In this lecture, you'll complete step five of the schematic design workflow, which involves setting nets. For this simple circuits, uh, setting nets is a bit superfluous, but we'll do it anyway, so you can see what it's like in a simple circuit like this one. So let's uh, have a chat first about what a net is. So think of a net as a representation of an electrical connection between two pins or, in other words, another way to look at this is that a net is a name for a wire segment. So each of those wires that you see here, so this one here, for example, this one here, and so on, these are nets. Just a short interruption to let you know that this video is part of my comprehensive KickUt course that will teach you every aspect of creating printed circuit boards with KickUt from scratch. Go to the course page to learn more about it if you want. Find the link to the course page in the description below and treat yourself with a discount coupon for my YouTube viewers. Okay, let's continue with the video. KickUt uses nets to track which pins are connected to which other pins. So while we, the designers, see wires, like the green segments here in this example, KickUt sees nets. If two wires intersect and are electrically connected, then they will be the same net and they will have the same name as far as KickUt is concerned. Therefore, it's possible to have nets that contain more than one wire. You'll see that frequently later in subsequent projects. And as I hinted earlier, it's possible to give nets custom names so that they are easy to identify, uh, not just in the schematic editor, but also in the layout editor. Not all nets need to have names, but there are some nets that are more important uh, for one reason or another than other nets. So giving those nets custom names makes sense. So to do that, we're going to use the net label tool, which is right here, select it, the label property comes up, and let's create the first net. I'm going to call this one LED covered. So hit OK, and you can see that the net name is attached to my cursor, and I can then attach it to a segment. I'm just going to pan and then rotate this label and attach it to the cathode side of the LED, this net right there. So there's the first net. I can repeat the same process for the second net. Let's call this anode or LED anode. And I'm going to make that vertical like this so we don't have text overlapping with symbols. And I'll do one more. The net label tool is already selected. You can see my cursor has the shape of a label. So I'm going to click right on the wire right there. The properties window comes up and I'll call it battery positive or bat pause like that. That's it. Save the project. And now I've got my three nets set in this simple circuit. In the next lecture, we can continue with another electrical rules check just to make sure I haven't broken anything. And after that, we'll do the comments and we're pretty much very close to completing with the schematic design and getting ready for the layout design.